Tim here again. So today I want to talk to you about my lifter panels on my truck camper. So when a lot of people see the truck camper, they're curious if the height goes up and that you can actually sleep in here. And I always tell them yes, and everybody's always really interested in how the roof goes up and down. And so today I'm just going to talk about that real briefly. Unfortunately, I did most of this project before I started shooting video. Uh, so I have some photos to share with you and I'll just give kind of a, a brief overview of what it is I do to put the roof up and down. So these lifting mechanisms are 100% custom for a few different reasons. A, they just need replacement before, but B, I wanted to give myself a ton of extra headroom because it just makes the camper feel a little roomier, makes it more enjoyable to be in here. And so with that, I made my own lifter mechanisms. What four wheel camper and all terrain camper do today is they use um, actually these panels that are made out of composite material. They used to be made out of wood. They were made out of wood for like 30 or 40 years. When I bought my camper, I had one working panel in the rear but up front, I didn't have anything. This is what that looked like. This is what I started with, a simple one by two holding up that end of the roof. This was a long time ago before I realized I was gonna rebuild the entire camper. So I actually made the first rendition of the lifting mechanism a long time ago. Uh, this was before I was planning on completely rebuilding the entire camper. So I just kind of got this up and running and went with it. Here's what that looked like. Following some basic instructions on the internet, I made my first rendition of the EMT lifter panel. You can see it wasn't exactly a perfect job. But it has all the right ideas with the pivots at the bottom and the top and in the middle and really performed the job necessary for the first season I used the camper. And real quick while we're talking about things from the old camper, here's what that original lifter panel looked like. You can see it has a hinge down here at the bottom. It's got another hinge up here at the top. And then it also has this latch that goes into the roof to secure the panel. And then when we flip it over to the back side, you can see that it actually has a third hinge in the middle, which allows this whole thing to pivot up and down. After I decided to fully rebuild the camper, again, put that new height in, make the new canvas, I went ahead and made two new lifting mechanisms. So what this is made out of is this is actually made out of three quarter inch EMT conduit. So that's the stuff they use to run wires in, in a building. But if you go on the internet, you'll actually find a ton of people making things out of that EMT. It's super easy to bend. It's actually super light, uh, it's super cheap. And so with all that, it makes a good building material. For each front and back panel, you'll need two 10 foot or so, maybe eight foot, 10 foot pieces of aluminum. Each one of those only costs actually like six, seven, maybe $10, depending on where you get it from. And then the rest of the material, didn't add up to much more either. So this whole cost was honestly like 30 or 40 bucks. But back to what I actually made. So you can see that I actually have two pieces. I have this one piece that goes all the way around there and then another piece that lives up the top. And the key to this whole lifting mechanism is the three pivot points. So there's one down at the bottom, which I'll go into more detail later. There's another pivot point right here in between and then the third pivot points up there. And what that allows is for lifting mechanism to kind of go up and down like this and it allows for the whole thing to collapse and live down underneath the roof when it's not elevated and in camping mode, and then also to pivot up, so it's pretty cool. By far, the hardest thing to make was the lower pivot mechanism. Um, that took me a while to figure out. I actually had to talk to my friends that are proper mechanical engineers, not me, who's a material scientist and doesn't know anything about mechanics, but it turns out that the way I was making it before just wasn't working, and essentially I had these two pivot points sticking out and I had a lot of weight right here, and so this thing just wanted to bend and the lower pivot was super weak and super sketchy. So I actually had to make my own system. Here's what that looked like. So this time around you can see I bent my EMT a lot cleaner than before. I found that just a little bit of practice, a good flat ground, and a level all helped that go a lot smoother. You can see initially I planned to make my lowest pivot point similar to before, but after some trial and error, I actually went with something more like this. Everything needed, I bought from a local hardware store, just some nine degree angles and some sheet and bar metal stock. I made the actual pivot mechanism with just some common bolts and washers. And that bar stock metal just acts as a spacer to help put a plate on and keep everything flush to the wall. And then I used a friend's machine shop to use a shear to cut that sheet metal into these big plates that will hold the whole mechanism securely to the camper wall. Then after I spray painted everything, it was time to give these lifting mechanisms their final install. And 
that's really all there is to install these lifting mechanisms to the base of the camper. With the lifting mechanism installed to the base, it was time to fix up that middle pivot point. For that, I'm just using generic hardware and trying to keep everything together to thread this bolt through some holes that I had drilled. And then the last major part that needed to be installed was the top pivot point. And for that, I just used generic EMT hardware to attach this horizontal bar to my roof. So that really wraps up what I have to talk about for the lifting mechanism. I guess one thing I didn't say is uh, I lock it in place by just using some cotter pins. Again, you just get them at the hardware and I got an extra pivot or an extra hole right up here to lock that in place. I'm really happy with how these came out, especially the second time around. They're beautiful. You can see the roof is super secure. A lot of the reason for that, wait for this train to go by. A few other things I didn't mention is I have these pieces of wood up top. Those are for me to push on the roof when I'm picking it up and dropping it down to help support the roof because it is just um, insulation up there with metal ribs in between so I need something big to hold on to. So that's all I got. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please hit like, comment, subscribe, do all those awesome things. It helps me make more videos. I'll be coming out with one more video really soon which is the beginning stages of my galley and after that I'm actually all caught up with past videos for this uh, truck camper project. So my arm is almost back fully healed so I can start using my tools again. We'll be building and making videos right alongside. No more catching up from post projects or anything like that. So as always, thank you for watching. Let me know if you have any questions and we'll see you again soon. Thanks, bye-bye.